We've got two leads to follow for the main quest. Wrong. We don't have two leads to follow for the main quest. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because we've got to get into this back room in this place. But to do that, we have to get this girl an engine and this guy some fertilizer. So let's start with the engine because I know we can go to the Ford compound. All right, here we go. Ford Model T, baby. Oh, I like it already. What is this? I can't actually see what they are. Bunch of mushroom tips. Cumulus bean oh it's a bean storm. Oh do you know what it is? That's just reminding me the first game was all about beans. Actually, oh that was that a bean magician or something in the first game? I think I was. Soy beans. Western pile of beans. Oh look at these bad boys. We'll fight them in a minute. Yeah, there's nothing actually here. Then show my sleeves are my Mr. Kalti muscle. Oh, we've seen these ones before. Not interested. There's another thing I want to try this episode, which we'll do after we do this, is I want to see if we can get the bonuses. Can you remember when we fought the Spider Queen and we took the injection? It gives us plus one to all stats. I wonder if we can make that permanent. All right, let's go, baby. Fight the beans. Oh, that's right, because we talked to her and she got upgraded a um, priority. It's so good. This is so, so good. Right, he's only got 9 HP left, which means he's dead. You're dead. And again, get wrecked. Raise them to the ground. Four speed. Five physical armor. Decent. Fifteen damage to an opponent. It's a combat item. Don't be like a grenade type thing. Okay. Oh, it's one of them that only takes one damage no matter what you hit it is. Right, we'll kill the beans first. There yeah. She's great at killing them. Top tier. Adds plus three poison to a weapon. Oh my. That's actually insane. However, I'm gonna I'm not gonna apply it to this yet because we seem to be murdering things pretty good, and if we get a decent weapon, we'll put it on the next one. This plaque is for the Factory 1909 <coughs> Employee of the Year, that's me. Board Factory Key. You flip to the folders, it looks like they're employee records, but each one has been sealed into its own envelope. They must take employee privacy real seriously around here. Nothing weird or interesting catches your eye. Look for my file. I worked here. Yes, I did. Found it. I've just worked in a lot of places. No big deal. Oh, got a bunch of big boys here. Right. Let's take this guy down. Isa, Isa. Let's not kill him. Let's... Isa, Isa, he's got a lot of health. Right now I've only got one EP left. So if I use this, I can kill. Decent. And now, 25 HP, 30 HP, 11. Yeah, let's take him down. I'm only getting 6 HP regen. Oh, that's right, because um, I've lost the buff. 
It's fine. Twenty-four HP. I'm not going to be able to kill this guy, am I? Four poison. Oh, I'm taking. That's it. We've won. This guy can't kill us. Oh, isn't actually really good. Yeah, poison's insane actually. The, the, the way status builds up works in this game is actually insane. Human bean liver. Increases your muscle by 1 and your maximum HP by 11. Oh, we got another one plus a poison weapon. Let's use it. Let's use it, baby. Rotten soybean, that's it. Smear it on the shop. Sharpen Occam's Gate at Toenail. Yes. Well done, old bean. Seven poison. Unbelievably good. Got a chunk of lead. Why don't we attach this? Oh, we've massively upgraded this. Seven physical damage, seven poison. It's insane. Crescent Wand, Mr. Calty. Gives your target shielded, which will cause them to ignore the next time they take damage. Complicate the gizmo, give me that. A souped up engine, nice, she's gonna put this in her car. Yeah, baby. The break room door is locked. Call out. Oh, hey, a person. Yep, that's me. Please, you gotta let us out of here. We've been trapped for ages with nothing to eat but beans. We welded the lock shut so the bean monsters couldn't get us. You'll need Jenkins' head screwdriver to take the hinges off. X shape, okay. Some guy in Oregon near Philip was super mad. Anyway, there should be one in the bunkhouse. I'll go and have a look. This is the bunkhouse. Hmm. It's prevent that you should find somebody who knows more about beans. Okay, when we find someone that knows about beans, we can do that. Fair enough. Next, so we've got her engine, we need fertilizer. Grode Valley Orchid. Grode Valley Orchid, that's me baby. The Hellhole. We'll go there later. Oh, well, this is uh, fantastic. I'm Maggie. Welcome to Grode Valley Orchid, I guess. I'm Scott. You seem to have a worm problem. I'm pretty conflicted about it. On one hand, I'm an anti-capitalist. On the other hand, those worms are really bad for business. It's a tough one. you have any spare fertilizer? Um, What do you need it for? I can give you some in exchange for helping out with these worms. I'll do it. What does she want? I'll unlock the basement. The worms tunneled into it. Behind the pile of cinder blocks. Help me move them out of the way so you can see it. Move the blocks. There you go. By the way, watch out for Maricino down there. Our cat. She's the last line of defence against the worms. Kind of our first line. Not very effective. It's hard to explain communal labour practices to cats. There's no way to get into her little house. Got a motorhome, that's awesome. Nice, 240 pounds of fertiliser, that's exactly what I need. 
I need a worm gear. Missing a part. Big enough for you to crawl through, not yet. What's that? Oh, I missed it. Right, let's kill some worms. Deploy secretions. Why would I want to do that? I want to fight them. Ratatatatat. Oh, they seem to be quite weak to a stench. 17 HP. Going down to Chinatown, bruh. How have I got no AP? Oh, I must have lost an AP somewhere along the line. That's a shame. Raise it to the ground. It's dead. Poison sent him over the edge. Worm squeezings. Oh, we could have skipped them if we wanted to. Worms are pretty hard though. Forty-two. Kill these. One, two, one. There you go. Doing damage. Dead. Oh, not quite. Now he is. Wormskin hat band. Adds plus three sleaze armor to a hat. That's pretty decent. These guys seem a bit out of it. Let's try a different tactic this time. I'm going to use the ball on these twelve HP left. Get rid of that, because I think they're doing the most damage. Oh they stack poison the little babies, that's pretty brutal actually. Hit these out. Starting to one, two, kill that. Stink bugs grown up. Stench armor. Hmm. I had gloves actually. Fragrant growed worm. We'll convince some growed worms to go somewhere else. Oh, okay.
Reduces all enemy stats by 5. That's the same as that, though, isn't it? Oh, all stats. That's actually better. Reducing the enemy's stats and HP by your mysticality. That's even better. Oh, that's one enemies. Heals your mysticality and spooky damage to all combatants. Not bad. Once per fight. I think that requires AP though, doesn't it? Opens a wormhole above an enemy. Twice your mysticality and physical damage, yeah, it's not too good. Right, let's go. Do the goo. Hey, that was that thing I just picked up. Oh, here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. Fight the beast. This guy's going to get wrecked. Already dead. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to hit us. Worm skin boots makes you move like a worm. Oh, baby. This is how I roll. Worm pellet. Oh, we need 18 hobo code. That's insane. If we went back to the hobo camp, I imagine we can get more code because we helped a lot of people. Oh, there's the cat. She wrinkles her nose and recoils. She must not like the horrible worm stench she have acquired. I don't have the worm gear. Worm gear, hold on. No idea, unless it's got something to do with the hobo code. Right, come on then, we'll just go back. Oh, okay, childhood house. Oh, look at this, we're here. Knife trick. I didn't know your companions could get more skills. I love shooting things. What the? This is from the stage pen where they got little Nancy on ice. Ah, she's only registered contact of inmate, inmate Nancy McGill. Pen and final review. They can't send her to the Laughing Academy. That place will kill her. Hold on, Nancy. I'll think of something. Hey, Molly, how was Buck? Got me a real tough slice here. I don't like asking for favours, but... My Sheba, Nancy McGill. She's doing time because of a bank job. Right, well, I'll get her. I'll save her. Come on, then. 
Let me get the tell you what, I can't be bothered to walk through this area. Purple one. Must have missed the Kelty by the orange one. Actually, I need Moxie. I don't need Moxie, actually. Orange. I'm back, baby. I dealt with the worms. Five gallon jar of marriage cheese, more cherries. Somebody wanted cherries, didn't they? It's a little weird. Without referencing the cherry orchid. Can I buy some cherries? See ya. Right, we've got everything we need to continue the main quest. Fight. Bring them on, baby. Oh, there's ducks. What the fuck is that? 29 HP, we have to kill the babies first. Oh, it's killed me thing. Kill the babies, so the adults are filled with contempt. Oh, these ducks are going fucking wild, it's gonna kill us. Ow, kapow. Oh, bro, why am I not regenerating health? Because it wasn't the end of the turn, technically. We really have to use this. Otherwise, we're going to die. Kill this little rat. Oh my god. He's the beast. Look at him, man. Looks like a fucking massive, viscous penis. What can we do to it? My muscle by five. That's not really going to make much difference. Um, all my enemy stats by five. Let's try it. Oh yeah, it's getting wrecked with poison. It's dead. So yeah, extra fatty patty. The day has not come yet that you'll duck a fight with a duck. I never will. Put that on my tombstone. Right then, I have got your engine. Oh, she did it because I got her an engine, even though it didn't actually let me give it to her. Given the fertilizer, good luck. That's a bit weird. Oh, maybe do I install it in her car? Right. You went to the dark back room, a man is standing behind a desk, poring over a messy array of books. Who the devil are you? I'm Scott Richardson. Okay, but the implied second half of that question was, what the hell are you doing in my office? I don't know. Well, if they vetted you, you must be okay. Name's Jasper. You're signing on to help with our mission. What mission's that? We're blowing up Hellstrom's oil refinery. Okay, I'm, I'm in. I'm in the like swimwear, can I touch your cat? Abby Abby. Why do you name her twice? Because I don't let society tell me what to do. Fair enough. Can I touch it then? Not allowed to touch the cat. Combat skill wind up. Your next melee attack will deal two times damage. 
Wow. Wow. That is what we call in the business fucking insane. It'll also increase your muscle by three. Oh my god. That is going to be the best skill in the game. Which means... Which means... We could change our rings. We won't because this is good for cleaning out little creatures. But if we have to hit something big, we'll wind up and then wow it. Then again... What could we have? It's a shame that doesn't work because it's really powerful. Nah, there's nothing worthwhile. Apart from the bottle cap ring, it doesn't work. What's our mission status, Jasper? Wendland's all set to spring the gate. Okasula is confident she can get us into the inner sanctum. Grover's got Big Betty ready to blow. Including me, that's only four or seven of us ready to go. I don't feel great about that. Anything I can do to prepare? Go and talk with the others. They'll tell you what they need. They'll probably be cagey about why, despite being on the team now. Don't push them on it. Okay, well, tell you what, we'll get more people on the team because we can do that. What do these need again? A glass of milk. I can get milk easy. She needs... Xenia's paperwork, paperweight, right, wait there, so. Let's get, was it the Drexel Stead? Buy some milk. I'm sure it's. Somewhere. Oh wait, they know where it is. It's behind the bookcase. Remember, this, you can actually walk past behind that. You're not the milkman. That's a cat. You're the milkman. Alright bro, I haven't laundered your hat yet. Sell me some milk. Buy a glass. 750 meat, fucking take it. She's got milk. She's called Xenia. Mac Miller Cuddy in Grey County. A farmer named Mac Miller Cuddy. Ah, Mac Miller Cuddy's farm. Nice hat. I'm not going to give him my hat. Bath time's over, chump. Fight these guys. Oh my god, big damage. Right, let's try this out. So this thing's massive. Immune to poison. All of it's immune to poison. So this has got 16 HP. I'll kill it in one attack anyway. 7, 14, 10, 22. Right, let's take this guy out of the picture. 1, 2. Do some damage to him. 1, 2. Right. Now. I'll just hit, hit this guy. Yeah, they don't hit for very much damage. So watch this. He's got 24. Where is... Wind up? Winding it up? This should one of this guy. Oh my god, 39 damage! Get wrecked. You have one AP. I can't use it. 
You already, you're already oh, so you can only use it once. You can't do it on every attack. Oh, you can. No way. I thought it said your next attack does double damage, so it just does all of your attacks do double damage. Seems a bit broken. Actually, seems a bit broken. Lots of sheep here. There's definitely something wrong with my left headphone. Like it's not actually broke, but you know, like the gel tips that they've got. It's coming off. I like sheep. Look at this crazy guy. The farmer seems very upset. No, it bloody ain't. A great flock of giant ducas has only invaded me farm, and all oh, they've got into all my outbuildings. Do you want some help? Uh, yes, he does. What's a dungstead? I see. What's a slot and shielding? Barrow, barrow. Steamy. Steaming pile of shit, right? Okay, whatever. Fight. I'll go in weapons blazing every time. Right, so. Shoot these idiots. They've only got 12 HP, I'm gonna wind up. Not that I need to actually. Yeah, these going down really quick. Plowshare, beaten sword, okay. Twenty eight HP, okay, we're going to one of this. Use that. Well, 14, can we get the little baby? 7, we'll kill this one with that. Isa, Isa, you're dead mate. Whack! That is crazy, that skill. Oh, look, we've got these bad boys. I'm going to try and take them down first. Oh, uh... He didn't die, which is a shame. Only thing is it does, doubles your physical damage, but it doesn't double the poison damage, which doesn't really make a difference, like. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Raise it to the ground. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Dead.
Yeah, we are super powerful now, like. It's crazy how one skill can change the game. I feel bad about we're just destroying this guy's farm, it's pretty hilarious though. These have only got 18. So if we go one, two, then one, two, he's dead. And we've got this, we can take out uh, him. And then what we can do is dead. Dead. This thing's smoking. It's got a, it's got a person's head. Ah, nice try, but you aren't pulling the wool over my eyes. Heh, well, it was worth a shot. I'm Beatrice. I'm Scott. Why are you disguised as a sheep? I was hoboing past this place and saw a pie cooling on the windowsill. No hobo can resist that, but just as I was sneaking up to grab it, I got attacked by a whole bunch of humongous ducks. I had to disguise myself as a sheep. Ask about hobo code. He won't tell me. Tell her about the hobo camp. Ah, so we clear the ducks out for it. Absolute poonage. Mr. Calty plus six. This is gonna be the. I hope this is a boss duck. Uh, oh, there, there he is. I think we should go for the boss first. I think we can get it killed. Twenty-two HP. Thirteen. We can kill this. Get wrecked. Isa! Dead. See ya, bruh. Probably gonna die of poison. Not quite. Dead now. Right, so we should be able to. About the hobo code. Nice. Now, do you want to go to the hobo camp? Nope. Ducks are gone. See you there. There you go. Sheep can all go back home. I want this ice. Mah. Took care of the ducks. Ah, you did, to be sure. But much be hidden to you, laddie. Couldn't have dealt with him ducks on me. That's for certies. Was there something you was wanting then? Xenia's Peter wait. Fucking yes, I want to go in your house, but I can't. Who the fuck? Oh, it's cows! Mad cows on the first game. Pretty hard though. Oh damn, yeah, we're gonna fucking die here. Right, we need to wind up. How much health does it have? Well, I do need to heal, because we're going to die if not. Oh my god, we can't win. How fucking hard are them? Got your shit. Now, do we have to help this guy?
We've definitely helped everyone. Hmm. Go and talk with the others. They'll tell you what they need. Who else could we ask? Oh, the woman. Oh, she wanted the engine, man. I helped her with a the puzzle. There you go. There's the engine. Done. So that's everything. Right, come on then. There we go, we got everyone, 100%, let's do it baby, let's do this. Storm the gates of the oil factory. Yeah, look at this man. There's a guard patrol in the front of the fortified refinery. Iola's gonna sort him out. Well hello handsome, couldn't help but notice all the hard work you're doing. Well, that's my job, Mom, and you're doing such a good job too, darling. I was just setting, saying to myself, there's a handsome young man who must be so thirsty after all that walking. Would you like a glass of milk? Got him, Tiger. It's a shame we can't fight. I kind of wish I didn't bring any friends. Want to murder everyone? We've got the gate open when Lynn's on it, but maybe we should go and see if he needs an extra pair of hands. Oh, yeah. Seven sleaze and seven moxie. I just need sleaze armor. Boom! It's all on the wrist, baby. Ooh, a force beam. Oh, that's the armor one. X Rocks badge is best. Keys. Weird leather pouch. Okay, the other side of the wormhole should be inside the safe. I just need to reach through it and unlock it from the inside. Is that safe? Can't you do it yourself? You have to hold the shard in the right position. Okay. Key to the oil baron's bunker. Nice. Refinery worker's pants. Is that a bomb? Yeah, ain't she a beaut? She's big as heck. Oh, don't worry, it's a shaped charge. Pretty much all the blast force is going to go straight into the wall. Pretty much. Were you planning on standing right next to it? Can't recommend that in any case. Let's do it. Bro, this is a heist and a half. Interrupt him. I want to fight this guy. Shadowy creatures coursed it out of the air around him as you approach. Uh oh. Damn. 69. Oh, these aren't as hard as the, the things we fought. I want, this guy's going to die first. Watch this. How much health have they got? 17. So I couldn't kill them even if I wanted to. Oh, I can kill him. Oh, we can only deal a maximum of five damage to these. Let's poison this guy. Whack! He's gonna die second turn. Good job we did that because he's actually healing people. Nineteen HP is dead anyway, so let's throw this at him. You're already dead.
Stinky the stink bug grows stronger, plus one to all stats. Is that his stats or my stats? Hey Jasper, what do we do with the big central machine? Deals your muscle plus 13 spooky damage. That's brutal. I think mine's still better though. And again, 13 spooky damage. Sometimes the traditional ways are best. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Front panel of the machine blows up and what looks like an old pharmaceutical flies out. Time to go. Muscle plus seven. And causes seven poison. I think this is better in the long run. I don't think we need the raw damage, although... 13 spooky damage is impressive. And that's actually applied immediately. Try it out. Shit, am I supposed to be getting out of here? What is it, bed? Model pump jack. Run, bitch, run! Go cool, baby, get away driver. Well everybody, that went better than I could have ever expected. Just goes to show the old crew still has some life in it after all. Although clearly, I gotta hand it to your new member Scott. We couldn't have done it without you kid. It was nothing. Nonsense, you deserve one hell of a reward. What you've done today, unfortunately most of our money is tied up in savings bonds so you'll have to settle for my cool shades. One moxie and spooky armor, that's dog shit. Cheers. Now it's time for us to get back to our retirement. Ayola gives you a big hood and everyone leaves with a wave. See you later, partners. Oh, the cursed sickle. Oh, that's why. That's actually the cursed item we need. Okay, well... I'll put that back on because I think we might lose the cursed sickle. But right, let's go back and uncurse this. I'm gonna uncurse yo shit. Can we get a bonus from pet and cat? Do we already have a pet cat bonus? Physical armor. It's a shame that every time you turn the game off and back on again, you lose this. Oh, one question. Is this the bathroom? Is there a bathroom in here? Oh, there's a spittoon. Ask Dan about you get a good item in the last game for that. The spittoon isn't for spitting and that's gone out of style. Long to a famous adventurer from Frisco just before the turn of the century. Who? Nobody knew ex exactly. A lot of people think it belonged to Mumfleur Flumpadink. They didn't use it for spitting into, they wore it as a hat, that's right. Activated charcoal. Floor grapes. Okay, let's try and uncurse this. Uncurse project, that'll be the project that were previously Severed curse, and then neither. What?
don't understand. Hey, hold on. I don't know what that does. Give me two seconds. I'm just making a backup save of the game in case I mess something up here. So I don't understand why you project. I don't know why you would do that. Right. You submit the wretched and riding sickle into the machine. This one is different, it's deep magic. There's something about the sickle, what's it used for perhaps? With your eyes closed you can almost see it. Long stalks of wheat drift in the blue moon. Uncursed sickle. Magic snorts the curse up into its singular... Six physical damage and causes three bleeding is not very good. But if we face it, it might get upgraded. Nick? Oh, well, hey, that's it. Is that an old RX7 or an old Porsche? Start the car. Take the map. Take the keys. Watch the Terminator! What a movie! Oh, don't watch the Terminator, why? Knock knock! Beep beep, Richie! Oh shit, look at this guy! Do you know what this is, huh? A certain forge-bound golem smite this blade for me. I asked him to make a weapon that could kill even you. Am I famously hard to kill? I can find you now wherever you go, Scott, and I will cut you a thousand times until you're dead. My name's Ashley, Ashley. I don't want to tell you what my name is. Die now. When you wake up, you'll see me again. Run. Oh, shit. Oh, look who it is! Well, what's your deal? I fear, Chid, that the Dylan of the day is Mordra. Yeah, I think I got murdered by a scarecrow. There's a bad rot in the woods today, I cannot say whence it came. These are the guys from the intro. He's the one that lies. Ill wind blows the wood for little girls. Do you mean me? I'm 19 years old. And if thou were felled, we might count thy rings. But this is not a threat, I assure thee. Speck to me, not for I know nothing of Mordra. Must be nice. I think I was just murdered by a scarecrow. I do not wish to be troubled by thoughts of murder. I will speck on the subject no longer. This guy's got three hats. Two. Three. We killed us again. Oh, nice, I'm here. And we're back to seeing this guy. Took a wrong turn there. Quite the contrary, you and I were always fated to meet. Who are you? I'm the end of time itself. Do you know why we have met? This... I was killed with a sickle. Not your scarecrow issue. You are pursued by a creature whose blade carves the flesh of reality itself. We must decide how you are to kill it. Got it, let's roll. The sickle is a powerful blade, but I ask you, what is the one weapon it cannot be best that cannot be bested? Rock and roll. Time is the only weapon for which there is no defence. The sickle was a powerful blade for its time. Time like all tools was made obsolete in successive generations. While the scarecrow wields that sickle, he can only be defeated with the more advanced equivalent. Do you follow? Basically we need time. Time. A correct response to most questions but no in this case. I saw something more specific. I refer of course to the lawnmower. You must build a lawnmower. Let's rock. <laughs> I got murdered. I need to build a lawnmower. Hi, uh, young Chromis? Yes. Sick axe. You're useless. 
Yeah, these are all the dreams we've been to in the past. Couldn't help but overhear you muttering vaguely about wheels. All I said was wheels, shh. Can you help me make a loan, what? You mistake me for a mechanic, madam. I'm an automotive executive. Let's see you then. This guy can make me a lawnmower. Will you make me a lawnmower? I'd love to, miss. Wheel and axe. Axle machines are my bag, but I've got a problem. See that detective fingering his moustache at the end of the car? Yes. The washed up gumshoe's got it in his head that I did something I didn't even do. A murder. Can you believe it? Murder's not my bag, miss. My bag is wheel and axe machines, as I already told you. Pretty unlikely that someone would have both wheel and axe machines and murder in one bag. Get to the point. Can't do anything with that man is investigating me, okay. Right, here we go. Something tells me the boy didn't do it. No doubt the young man himself who will protest his innocence to anybody with ears. You want a break? Be sensible. Maybe the case wasn't even a murder. What do you suggest? Natural cause, an accident or an act of God? Yeah, any of those, whichever you think. I think that, I think that is just what one of these passengers would like us to believe. Boring, the case is boring. Have some respect for the dead. But I admit this is a routine case. It does not tax the grey cells thoroughly. I reckon there's more interesting murders for you to solve. Assuredly so. But one that could happen here and now in this train caught an unlikely prospect. Please, you have bothered me enough. Allow me to conclude this investigation. You're making a mistake. Can we murder someone? There. Murder happened. Could be self-defense. Av. From where do you hail? Av Omnicron Pie. And what brings you to these parts? Getting chased by a scarecrow. Can civilization do anything for me now? No. Bro, this guy's torturing me. Oh, we're back to these guys. Gosh, don't look at me, mum. I'm, num I'm a numbers man. Team accountant. I don't know from f baseball hardly at all. Gecko trying to kill me? Nope. I'm in, coach. Baseball bat. Yes, coach. I'm dead. Gonna throw instead of a time watch, he's gonna throw a sickle in you. <laughs> John Cena from the top ropes. Bro, I need help. Get away from me. Right, I've got a phone now. I don't know how that's gonna help. Lawn mower. I need a lawn mower. Oh shit, somebody's dead. It's me. We tried it now I'm sitting, I'm done fielding players who want on the team. I don't have any baseball experience. I'm really inspired. I think we just have to go through the motions on this one. Now did you see that mortar? I saw you die, yeah weird. How can this happen? How can a person die and return to life? I am pursued by a creature whose blade carves the flesh of reality itself. I can make no sense of it. 
It's all above your pay grade, man. Later days. Perhaps me a broom fell on your head. Don't think so. I killed her nice. We need to get back to the train cart and speak to the kid. Right, we're back here now. Taste the blood. Start the car. We need to wash the Terminator. That will help us. Ah, break the door with a bat. Kill the board. This is my hiding place. What else may are you, baby? Oh, I'm dead. Now let's talk about that lawnmower. Nice. Yes, please. I can make you one, but I'll need the parts. Looking for you, a lawnmower is pretty simple. Just need two blades, two wheels, a good sturdy handle, and some sort of metal rod. Would this work as a handle? No, that's a baseball bat. Okay. Two wheels, two blades, and a sturdy handle. I need wheels. Because you can never say no to a beautiful girl who needs a fresh rubber wheel. I've got one. Can you make me one more? I cannot. I've got one wheel. This guy is going to have an axe handle that I can have. How do you think I get that other guy's axe? An unexpected request. Why? For what purpose? Building a lawnmower. I said scarecrow. Yep, I spoke now. Forgive me. Stew. I am Aggie. I speak your tongue. Good for you. I hear you talk with Oma. I give you axe if you help Aggie. Yeah, Aggie needs axe to fight Empire. If Aggie have better weapon than Empire, he no need axe, understand? Okay. This is advanced, give him a telephone. Very advanced. Aggie kill Empire with this? 100%. <laughs> nice. Try not to alter the timeline too much. Take the pole. I've got a standard pole as well. Nice. We need another wheel. Off the car. Take the wheel. Take the tape. But why do I need a videotape? So we just need some bikes or some shit, don't we? Seem to be trapped here. If we keep going backwards and forwards between these zones, it's not. Ah, oh, here we go.
Can you help me with a scarecrow that wants to kill me? Well now, that's a tough one. Sure enough, I can't rightly see it. What I do about that, ma'am? West is north now. Can I get some water? <gasps> dinosaur! There's a dinosaur from what we were before. Right, wait there. Try and get the dude with the axe to leave. I'll see if I can get him to leave. Yeah, you want the axe man to beat it? Not to be to be gone. I'll talk with him, don't leave. There's nothing unwell in it. It's a heel blade. Right on, but if I ask again, can I have it? There's only one cutter in the wood, girl, and it is he who's freest of sin. Don't we think it's time for a she who is freest of sin? Thou wouldst be woodcutter? Any in the wood may stand him, but I petition to be careful, girl, if the wood looks for sin. Uh... Bring it on, my man. Where he fucking died, like. Give him the axe. Rubber wheel, car wheel, standard pole. Got the wheels, you need one blade, you need a sturdy handle and you've already got me a long metal roller, I'll do the rest. You remain in this car, you're the boss, do what I want. So we need a handle, do we? A handle and a... I'm going back to the, the where the crow was. Oh, the crow's fucked, isn't he? Ah, this is this this bit of the game's a bit shit in it. Walking backwards and forwards just hoping for the fucking best, it's dog shit. Am I good to get one of those branches now? There's no cutter to punish me for it, is there? No, there ain't now. How about my branch? Tree branch. Now go, inspect and not one word of what's happened. Don't bother me, pal. I'm, I'm moored at every 10 to 20 seconds. Give me that. Right, we've got everything. Boom. I need to die. I need to die again and again and again after that one. Waiting for death. Waiting for death. It's like a fake puzzle, isn't it? Like you just gotta like wait and wait and wait and wait. Oh, taunt the scarecrow. Oh, you can taunt him. I've just saw that button in the bottom. You can speed it up by pressing spacebar. I want to speak to the dinosaur. What's up, my brother? Fuck you, buddy. Can you get back the train car? Bro, just give us the fucking train car.
Cause I am, baby. What is that? The train's fire axe? Purifying blade. Handle. I've got a lawnmower. It's a simple machine, it shouldn't take any more than a few seconds to build a lawnmower, only there's a problem. What's the problem? All the pieces are there, it should work, but like, if I didn't know better, I'd say the machine doesn't want to run. How is that possible? I can build the things, but it's getting the question whether machines have souls. Thanks for everything. Oh, I know where to get is get a soul from the dead crow, or this dead thing here. I want to go and get the crow's body. Yeah, because the crow want revenge, like Brandon Lee. Oh, how I want your soul, bro. Where am I going to get a soul from? Oh, I know what will want revenge. The dead. Oh. I have a lawnmower that doesn't work. Can you help me? It doesn't work. No such thing won't work. Maybe it's the rest of these boys. Give them the lawnmower. Oh, you got it. You fixed it. Yes, coach. How do we kill this motherfucker? This is the last damn time. Bring it on, bitch. Hey, it's over for you now, you goon. I went and made myself a lawnmower to beat your sickle. You speak of sticks and stones, tools only. They will always be shadow, Scott Richardson, and thus you will never be safe from me. My name's Ashley Dingust. Now I need to know one thing, where's Nick? Oh, look, he's got a normal face. Nick, what the hell? It's nothing personal, Ash. Okay then. It ain't you, it's the guy I gotta kill, Scott. Why? I don't have a choice, it's something that goes way back. Got a debt to the shadow. Turn on a light and your shadow goes away. Ain't that easy, shadow's bigger than anything you and I can comprehend, you just can't get rid of it. That right, huh? More your boyfriend. Nice. Oh, it's Mr. Callity. That's a shame. Return address, just say, see you in 66 years, hmm. Never heard of it. Maybe it's in Utah. Take the lawnmower, my lawnmower. Now, what a question. We still keep the uncursed sickle. Six physical damage. Mine's better. Seven poison. Yeah, my, my weapon's still better. Right then, lads. What we'll do is we'll call an episode there. When we come back, we'll rest and start a new day and see where it takes us. Hope you enjoyed the episode, lads. See you in the next one.